What's up? This is a spooky Halloween vampire deck video a day late because I didn't have enough free time. So it's pretty much almost exactly the old KC Cup uh, deck lists vampire deck. Pretty basic. We got Gozuki. Only two of them because I only have two. I use Sprint. A dream ticket. Like my first dream ticket ever on one of these and I just pulled the second one yesterday on Halloween. We got two vampire retainers. Two vampire familiars, one vampire vamp, one vampire, no, two vampire grace, three samurai skull because the ban list just let them, unlim let them be unlimited, two vampire kingdoms, uh, two vampire domains, one draining shield, two wall of D's, and a vampire takeover. There's no extra deck, and that is it. Oh, I'm using zombie drop, but I don't think I ever use it in the four replays. This deck is pretty garbage now. Uh, it's not bad, it's just it doesn't hold up well. A pure vampire deck does not hold up well against current decks. Uh, World Legacy Clash really ruins Vampire's Day if you try to suck up a strong monster. And uh, yeah, I also don't really know how to use this deck that much. I'm not very good at it. So yeah, enjoy the four replays for this Halloween spooky special. It's time to do 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 Okay, so we're gonna go over the first duels. We got Bones, because I'm playing Bones because it's Halloween, versus Yami Yugi. I bought the uh, very unspooky playmat for 500 whole gems. I used the 500 gems that we got from the 100 million downloads to get this, instead of trying to get good cards. Anyway, so Yugi starts off with Power of the Guardians. This is in. I believe Platinum 7 rank, that, or reset right before, and it's in Gold 7. Don't know. But I got some Gozuki action going on. I, to you, disclaimer, I really don't know how this deck works all that much. I just know that from personally, I pull Retainer out, get a magic card. That card lets me pull Familiar out, then I, stack, then I get Vampire Vamp in my hand, suck up a big monster. That's all I do with this deck. I'm not sure if there's extra that you're supposed to do, but that's what I do. And then I use Domain to uh, get my life points back. And Draining Shield. I have Draining Shield just to get extra life points. So I suck up his Power of the Guardians, but he Walla D's me. Power of the Guardians that goes in the graveyard, which is awesome because I hate that card. Only because I don't use it. If I used it, I probably would love it. Then I sacrifice Guzuki for Grace just in case. And boom, easy, easy win. Kicked his booty. Then we got Ubel. Bones versus Ubel. This was a very, I want to say interesting duel. It wasn't, I don't know how this player didn't get what they were trying to get going, but they, they didn't do it very well at all. So we start off with my beautiful Magician Girl Matt. I got two skulls in my hand, Familiar and Walla D. She pulls out a uh, Ubel effect. My name is Ubel, which changes Incarnate for the normal Ubel card and summons a monster that should and to my opinion, I, I think should have used its effect, right? I don't know how you battle decks work, but I'm able to throw a, a retainer on the field, and I don't pull familiar out because I'm not sure if you is coming to the field and it's gonna just like with incarnate and destroy all my monsters. So I'm gonna wait a little bit, wait a turn. I get sphere Kariboed. but another, I pull another skull since it's unlimited. I got three in my deck instead of two. Use takeover to pull up my kingdom. And then pull Grace onto the field. Then Grace lets me throw a magic card in there because I chose magic because I didn't want to deal with Fire Kings or the uh, ritual summoning spells. So I thought I should try to get rid of those. And I'm able to just make it to bring you Bell to 100 life points. I wish I knew a better way to. If I had like 100 more life points somehow, if, if Skull was a Grace instead. And then. He rage quit? I'm not sure what happened. So, so that's that. That was those two fantastic, amazing, beautiful duels. So I moved the camera because my computer is overheating because it sucks. So hopefully you can't hear it. So anyways, it just doesn't matter. It's the last duel against Yami Yugi uh, again. Well, the last two duels, I guess. But Yami Yugi, this player sent me a nice after I beat them. So that was kind of cool. That was kind of nice for them. I'm going to speed it up, though, because... Uh, don't need a super long video for this, there's only four duels. Throw three kingdom down, get my Kazuki to put a retainer in the graveyard. 
put a domain on the field so I could use, I can get rid of it later with Retainer's Effect. Draining Shield gives me more life points to use all these effects later. Pull up the Retainer, get a Takeover in my hand so I can just discard it, I don't need it. Use Kazuki to put Familiar in a Graveyard, then Familiar comes out by putting Takeover in a Graveyard. Pull my Vampire Vamp out, then I sacrifice those two special summon monsters, bring out Vamp, Shuck up. The good suck and OT, well, I guess it's OTK, is it OTK? I don't know, whatever it's called, I beat him one turn it took to kill him, sure. Then we got Kaiba, the big man Kaiba. That's like probably the only one time the vampire strategy actually worked without some interference with a Sphere Karibo or Wall D or something. This deck does not do that well with my experience. It's probably good, I just suck at do using it. I just did it for the Halloween video. Because I have like five tune video. no, I have like three tune videos, so I thought I'd do something different. So I use the uh, thing, get retainer in the, the thing. That's really descriptive. I get retainer in the graveyard, summon him, use uh, field spell, it's a triamid. This was actually my favorite duel because Kaiba misplays by not being able to add in his head properly at all. And he doesn't read uh, cards. So he just destroyed himself by accident. So he was already frustrated a little bit. And then he misplays. I believe I slowed down when he misplays. So we can all see it. I get my combo strategy going. Get Vamp in my hand. Vampire Vamp. Yeah, here we go. Slow it down. Bring out Vamp, but I get Kanadied. So I'm face down. I can't do any suck. I couldn't have sucked him up anyways. So I attack, I got the kingdom on the field, boost my attack by 500 in the battle phase. And then he summons another Triamid card because he's playing Triamid. And then he ends his turn, I think because, I'm gonna pause the video for me, I'm hopefully gonna remember to pause it in the, in the editing. But I think he thinks 17 plus five is 22. So he doesn't attack me because he doesn't want to destroy himself. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, or 20, he thinks it's 23. It is actually it is 22. He fear, figures that out and uh, scoops it. He quits, he rage quits, because he sucks adding. Basic thing for Yu-Gi-Oh, you need to learn how to add. And that is it, those are my four replays, because I couldn't get any more than that uh, to showcase, because I suck at using vampire decks. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, I have a bunch of other videos I'm going to link in a second, and I'm going to make more YouTube videos because that's the only thing that gets views on this channel anymore. Peace!